We'll get started in just a couple minutes. Good afternoon and welcome to our kickoff series on the Exhibitor Marketing Kit for the 2022 show to take place March 5 through 8 in Chicago at McCormick Place. We are very excited to be um, having a show in 2022 and uh, excited to have all of you with us. So a couple of things, um, this webinar is being recorded and will get posted within the next 24 hours. I would check back on the marketing kit, um, which I'm gonna show you in a second where to go. And there should be a link to the webinar there. Otherwise, we house all of our webinars at housewares.org um, and there's an education tab and that's where you would find that. So, um, Welcome, as I said, I wanna just kind of give you a little disclaimer. This is the first time we are doing a live webinar with a um, demo on the marketing kit. So bear with us, um, this is through Zoom. We think we've got all the kinks worked out, but I'm just gonna give you a maybe, we might not. <laughs> so anyways, um, I am Nancy Michael. We've got our contact slide coming, hang on. Okay, here we go, thank you. So I'm Nancy Michael, I'm the Director of Trade Show Business Development and I work with very closely with all of your sales managers um, on exhibit sales and customer service and all those good things. And then we've got... I'm Debbie Tushke, the Senior Manager of Public Relations and Communications. I work with the trade and consumer media in terms of the show and year-round with the association. And also with you, the, our exhibitors, to help you get um, media exposure at the show. Um, so we will take questions during the webinar. Just use your chat function. We've got um, another IHA friend in here helping us through some of these technical things and um, she'll convey your messages to us as you need them. And then I put the URL up there, the inspiredhomeshow.com. That is where we're gonna be working in today. And we're gonna cover these things, attracting buyers and media, which is the, the main purpose of the exhibitor kit, using Connect 365, our revamped show directory, and reaching the consumer, consumer news and media, which Debbie's gonna do a thorough presentation on that. And that's gonna help you succeed at the show. This we're gonna save for later. And we're gonna do some housekeeping at the end. And here we go. Okay, so how do you find it? You go to the inspiredhomeshow.com and you're going to use this exhibit button to find a whole menu of things. So there's the marketing kit. I do want to point out this is where the services kit is available as well. Um, and that's for all your Freeman ordering, your electrical, anything you need for your booth, et cetera, you'll find there. And then I'm just going to mention down here exhibitor warnings. Um, that's going to be part of our housekeeping if for some reason you're not with us and we cover that. I really encourage you to go look at this. There's a lot of poachers out there and they're getting sophisticated and um, important that you just are aware of certain um, warnings to save you time and money and energy. Okay, so we're gonna go right into the marketing kit. And here we go. So this first section, you can kind of quickly jump to sections you want to get to. I'll let you play with that on your own. And then here, we're going to talk about deadlines. And you can see that we've got um, a deadline coming up tomorrow for the show preview press event. But I believe Debbie has an update for us on that. 
we are announcing today that the deadline's been extended to January 4th. Um, so you have a couple of more weeks, but I would encourage you to sign up as soon as possible. We have also uh, reduced the number of tables to 50 to allow for more distancing between tables at the event. Also, the media invite will be going out this week, and I include the brands that will be participating. So if you'd like to be included in that, please sign up within the next day or so. And we'll talk more about this in a few minutes. Perfect. Thank you, Debbie. Um, also, just kind of a note, we will post all the exhibitor connects over here, so you can get them easily from here if you, um, you know, missed anything that you're getting sent on that front. So we're going to jump into attract buyers. Um, I'm just going to speak to registration list. I'm not going to take you in there because really all it's going to do is take you to your USI exhibitor portal sign in because that's where we post the lists. Um, but because of the show cancellation in 2020, there really isn't good enough data to share. Um, so the next buyer registration list will go up in mid-April post-show, and that will have all the registration information from the 2022 show. I will warn you, there are no email addresses on this list, but you get everything else. And if you're savvy, uh, you can sometimes figure out the pattern of the emails to get to your buyers. So we're gonna start with Welcome Independent Retailers. Um, this was a program that we were kicking off in 2020 and we are continuing it. And you may ask, what, what is this about? Why do you need that? So we're a large show with over 1100 exhibitors um, and everybody has a different goal or um, a, what they want to accomplish at the show. And sometimes the larger suppliers they're coming to our show to meet larger retailers and they're only looking to do container programs. And every year we get feedback from our independent buyers who will get upset when they try to go into a booth and they won't help them um, because that's not what they're really there trying to do. So this is um, a great little program. There's not much you have to do to get some recognition that you are independent friendly. Um, so I'm, these two little buttons are gonna take you just down this page. So I'm gonna not click on those and I'm just gonna take you down the page. So there's in-boost signage. There's some signs you get that say you're independent friendly. Um, there's a badge that you can add to your online company profile that states you're independent friendly. And we will do some pre-show marketing for the companies that do sign up in this to the attendees so they know where to go and find you on the floor um, because you're part of this program. I'll mention that we have a dedicated buyer relations member who is out doing face-to-face -face visits. She's done over 550 of them, um, all very positive, lots of new independents um, we're hitting and she's hitting every kind of store that would be relevant to um, travel to the show. So. Good news on that front, we're very excited about it. And I would encourage you to participate in this program provided you're independent friendly. So this is just directions. Um, it's not super intuitive on Connect 365. So this will give you everything you need to do. You can add the independent friendly badge to your, um, at the product level and the brand level. Um, and this will take you to the order signage. And I'm going to hold off on that for right now because my recommendation would be that you order all signs at once. And we're going to go through that uh, momentarily. So um, our first pass at having a full marketing kit on um, our site. So you're going to want to use this button to get to the top of the site. And, you know, we'll make improvements for next year. But just know, I'm gonna point out a few things you should know as you're navigating through. So this would be the first one. And it's gonna take us to the beginning here and I'm just gonna to continue to scroll down. Lead retrieval services. So many of you may have um, taken advantage of lead retrieval in the past. This was um, a complimentary service in the past and unfortunately we're not able to do that. So this is now a paid opportunity um, you can go here and just view the packages. This will show you all the different um, things 
available to you in terms of capturing those valuable leads. And then you're gonna go back to order online. This is gonna take you to a third party ordering system. Um, you'll need this code IHS22 to get in and then it'll ask for your company name and then you'll have to select that and you'll be on your way. Note, early bird pricing ends on the 4th and prices will go up starting on the 5th. So if you're interested in that, I secure that unit now. Um, and then, it's a, this is one thing with the lead retrieval that you should be aware of. It is a way to capture an email address. Lead retrievals are considered a business card exchange. So um, again, a great way to scan everybody that comes into your booth and make sure you capture all their information. Back here. When I go back like that, it's gonna take me to the bottom of the page. So just beware. Okay, in booth special events, I'm gonna turn over to Debbie. After what's new at the show in terms of products, the second most frequently asked question we get is who's going to be there? What celebrities or shops or events are going to be at the show for buyers and media? And this is how you're going to let them know. With the in booth special events listing, this goes in Connect 365, but you will enter it here. Um, and when you click on submit your event, it'll take you to the exhibitor portal. And then you'll click on the form and um, enter the information. You can, whether it's um, a buyer reception in the afternoon, or if you're having a celebrity shop in your booth to, to sign and meet with the buyers or meet with the media, you can enter that. And then it will populate in Connect 365. And when attendees go to 365, there'll be a search button for that. And then they can search for all of the special events um, in the exhibitors booth of the show. Okay, so I'm gonna demo this to make your event because this is gonna take you to your USI or exhibitor portal sign-in. So many of you might be familiar with the screen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and log into a test account. Very important, I have my own company account. And that, I don't know why it took this me there. I should not have. Okay. Um, all right, hold on a second. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try it in a different one. It should take you to your USI sign-in screen and then it should take you to your exhibitor portal as a, um, let's, let me just try this again, hang on. There we go, I'm in the wrong one. So you're gonna get some of these when it takes you to sign into your, your account, then it, you might just get some that take you right to the task at hand. So you can click on this and it'll take you to the next step, et cetera. Um, or what I'm really trying to get to is that this is where you're going to find all your tasks in your exhibitor portal for all show related things. Um, so anyways, you'll see different things in here, a new product showcase if you wanted to sign up for that. Um, all sorts of stuff. If you're assigned, if your booth is already assigned, this is where you're going to find your badge registration. If you're still waiting for your booth assignment, you're not gonna see some of these um, tasks. So just be aware of that. Okay, so now I gotta get us back. I'm gonna re-log us in here because I'm not very good at this, you must know. And then I'm gonna keep going on here. So we just covered, um, oops. Lead retrieval, Imbu special events that had a sign into USI. You're going to see that all over this marketing kit. And um, I'm not going to demo it every time, but that's basically where it's going to take you. Sometimes it'll take you directly to the task. In this case, it took you right to how to submit for your Imbu special events. And sometimes it may take you to that list of tasks where you have to go select it. Okay, advertising options. 
So there's two um, options in terms of advertising. We also have a lot of new sponsorship opportunities, which we'll cover in a little bit. But in terms of app, app, blah, 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 advertising, the shuttle bus um, is one way to do it. There's small screens in every bus that take you from the hotels to and from Chicago McCormick Place, the convention hall. Um, and there's just, you know, it's a great way to capture an audience. It's pretty no frill, but it is a good way to get your company name, booth number, and maybe if you have a celebrity coming to your booth, you know, there's all sorts of things you can do. Um, so this will just give you a PDF of all the different advertising services that the bus company provides and the rates you can find there. And there you go. It'll give you all sorts of options. Um, and then I'm gonna let Debbie speak to homepage news. If you're not familiar with it, she will give you a, a heads up. Thanks, Nancy. Homepage News is our new independent news initiative that we launched last summer. Um, it is led by Peter Gianetti, who used to be the editor at Home World Business. And last year, when Home World Business ceased publishing, we talked with Peter and he came on board to uh, create this new initiative for us. It is a website at homepagenews.com with all the industry news. And then there is a daily email that you can subscribe to that gives you the highlights of the day's news. Uh, along with this initiative, we're going to be doing print show dailies for the first time ever. Um, the homepage news will be the official publication of the Inspired Home Show, and you will be able to advertise in these dailies. We'll also have some editorial opportunities that I'll talk about a, bit, a little bit later, um, but just go here and it will go to the homepage news uh, website and this is the information about the advertising opportunities available for the show dailies and um, you can contact them and you know get get started with homepage news if you haven't signed up for it i encourage you to go to the website and sign up for the uh, daily emails they're very informative it's all about the industry news not just iha it is a independent initiative that we have started Sorry. Okay, so we're going to go back to our menu. And then we're going to talk about our in stock program. Uh, also, a new program, um, very similar to the independent friendly program, but this is in reaction to all the supply chain issues and inventory issues that everyone's experiencing, unfortunately. But there are those of you that have inventory and in stock and ready to ship, and that's what this program is about. It's to identify you for buyers so that they know that they can order inventory and receive it right away um, to get into their stores and on their shelves. So again, it's very similar to the independent program. There's signage available. There's a badge for it, just like an independent friendly badge. There's an in stock um, ready to ship badge. And then um, again, some pre-show marketing on who's um, participating in this program so that uh, buyers can find you easily. And again, here's all the how to add the badge to your corporate profile in Connect 365. And we're going to get to signage now. So I'm going to take you out of here and we're going to go hit in booth signage. We've actually streamlined this and made it a lot easier, even though maybe it doesn't look like we have, but we have. So you'll see a menu like this. You can go read about all of it. It will just kind of take you through it. And after every one of these, um, there's a full on sign submission here. I think the one I'd like to speak to new for the home, um, new, listen, we're in touch with all the major buyers and I can't tell you, the mantra right now is they need to get back to a face-to-face -face event. They need to find new products for the home. They need to find new suppliers, which they can't do through Zoom. So I would say if you can order these signs to identify some of your new sellers, um, this is important. There's no limit to the number of these signs. That's, this is the only one that's not limited in terms of how many we'll give you. 
And they also, on the show floor, you can always go get more if you haven't ordered enough or forgot to order them at the floor, uh, the show manager's desk on site in each expo hall. So know that. The other one I really wanna call out um, is the no photography sign. So this is an important sign. We post them all over the show, but you know that doesn't stop people from trying to take pictures of your new products or whatnot. And they really need to ask permission. Like sometimes people wanna take a picture of the booth because they like it, um, but really they need to be getting permission from you. And it's on you, it's your responsibility um, on the show floor to police this. We can't police it everywhere. Um, so these signs are in three different languages. Um, and I would just recommend having one of these delivered to your booth. That's a really important one. We talked about independent, independent friendly and in stock, and I'm gonna cover made in the USA and smart home down on the form. So here you go. You can order everything that pertains to your products or your booth and the programs that you're involved in. Made in the USA, this is a big one. We've had it for a long time. When you click on that, you're gonna see the federal guidelines of what made in the USA means. Um, this is on the honor system. We don't police this, but I will tell you, if you select made in the USA and you've agreed to the federal terms and a buyer is looking specifically for made in the USA and they get to your booth to find that only one component is made in the USA and the rest of it is imported, they're not, they don't like that. Um, so only really select this if you have truly made in the USA product. And the other one we ask you to talk about is smart home um, to opt in on. And really this is kind of our definition of smart home, um, something that might have a sensor in it, like a iRobot or one of a robotic, anything it could be a robotic toy, something that's you know kind of smart. And then anything that's really connected to the internet, really app-based um, that you can control the product with. So those are kind of the two criteria. You can agree to those terms and you will get two of those signs delivered to your booth on Friday, March 4th during setup. That's with all those signs. Any signs you order here will be dropped at your booth on Friday. A um, couple of notes here. These are um, Pantone Color Watch. If you're selected to be in the Pantone Color Watch display, you will receive signs um, announcing that. Um, and same with Trending Today, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but these are both vetted programs. So you'll only get signs if you're um, selected to be in those programs. Okay, moving along. Any questions, Tina, we need to address to the group? Okay, thank you. Um, okay, product display opportunities. Okay, good. Yes, signs are free. All, and we've tried to, you know, mark for you all the free and the paid, again, will take you either to third party sites or to your USI sign in. So product display opportunities, this is a big one. Um, you know, there's lots of different ways to get your product visible and we've added some new ones this year. So I'm gonna take a little time going through this. Um, the new product showcase. So every expo hall has a buyer's club in it. And every buyer's club has a new product showcase in it. Um, this is a paid program. Um, the buyer's clubs, we only allow badged media and badged exhibitors. And we're very strict about it. No trade guests, no exhibitors in there. Oh, I've made a mistake, badged buyers. <laughs> buyers and media, they're the only ones let in, period. We have security in there. We're very strict about this. This is um, to protect intellectual property. And we just, we don't want anybody in there, including setup. So if you're gonna take part in this and you want your product displayed a certain way, you're out, you hire merchandisers um, and it's worked for the last two decades. So I promise you it'll still work. One of the nice things about this program with the new product showcase is when you 
If a buyer walks in, they're handed a scan gun if they would like one. And every product is tagged um, with a company name, booth number, and a scan code. So they can go ahead and scan all the products they're interested in. When they leave the buyer's club, they're given a list of everybody they scanned. At the end of the show, post-show, every exhibitor that was scanned will get a list of all the people that scanned their product with emails. And everybody, any buyer that's scanned at the end of the show will also receive a list digitally of everybody they scanned in these product showcases. So that's a really great, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Benefit. Thank you, a great benefit to this program. The other thing that this program um, is known for or is part of is our GIA Product Design Awards. So anybody who enters into the new product showcase by January 21st, this is an important date, you're eligible to be judged for a G award. If you come to us on January 23rd, probably can still get you into the new product showcase, but you've missed the opportunity to be judged for a GI. Um, so that's pretty important. This date becomes pretty important. Um, we consider a new product, anything that hasn't been in the show before and anything that's not older than 12 months. So, some of you may have new products you were gonna launch in 20, but now they've been out on the market for two years, um, closing in on three. So those wouldn't likely be eligible, but if you know you have a story to tell about it, um, you can speak with Connie Chantos who runs this program. So here's all the benefits, the criteria and the cost. So um, we've really revamped our membership this year. So members, you get a lower price at $325 per product entry. And if you're a non-member, you're at $425 pro per product entry. This does not affect if you'd be judged for a GIA or not. It's that January 21st date that you really have to meet. So if I hit get started, it's gonna take me to that USA sign-in link. You'll notice there's a price here. Anything that carries a price tag to it, you're always gonna to have to go in through your exhibitor portal because we can process payment through there as you're probably all aware when you pay to booth fees. Um, this is gonna take you to um, a website page that kind of talks about new product showcase and um, Pantone Color Watch, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Okay. The other thing to note about these nav boxes, whenever I'm gonna come back to this, it's always gonna take me to the top new product showcase. So don't get thrown off by that. You just need to go navigate back to where you are. Um, IHA Market Watch. So the Market Watch is a trend report. You want to speak to it though? Sure. Um, IHA Market Watch is a new consumer uh, trend report that IHA created. We were going to introduce, introduce it in the 2020 show, and but obviously we didn't. So we're going to try again. There'll be a keynote session um, to talk about the trends in the report. Um, as you can see here, there's three types of mindsets that we're going to be looking at the conscious consumer the creative consumer, and the connected consumer. At, on the show site, we will have a display over in the Lakeside Center lobby um, called IHA Market Watch with products that um, fill, okay. reflect the, these trends. And here you can submit, um, it's a form for you to submit your products. Um, if you feel that they fit one of these trends, just fill it out and then decide, click which trends you would like and then um, give, give us a photo and then submit it. And then the IHA um, Market Watch editor authors will take a look at the products and decide if they want them for the display. And then you will be contacted and asked to send us a sample. So just also know, you're gonna see a lot of these forms this year, which really streamline a lot. Um, please submit the file photos because we'll wanna use them potentially to put something up on the website after the show, or perhaps publish something in one of our printed collateral pieces. 
So um, those photos become pretty important. We ask for high res, give us what you can. Okay, Pantone, another big display. Um, so Pantone, a couple of things about Pantone this year. The big one is it's moving. It's moving out of the Hall of Global Innovation, which is all in the Lakeside Center, and moving now on to 2.5 into the concourse. Um, so it's in a very high traffic visible area. For those of you familiar with McCormick Place, when you come into that main gate, um, gate four, and you go up the first set of escalators, there it is, boom, right there. There's beautiful new displays and graphics and show branding, and it's really going to be spectacular. So a couple of things on here, note the deadline date. Those are pretty hard and fast. Um, you got There's a lot to learn here in terms of how to participate. So the first thing is you need to contact Joy over at Pantone to request a confidential color forecast. Remember, Pantone, we're working a year ahead. They're forecasting the 2023 colors, and um, that's what the products would need to reflect. And then um, you'll just follow along here if you're accepted into that. Then Vicki Matranga, who's an IHA, IHA employee and runs this program, um, you would need to get products to her by February 1st. Again, so lots of deadlines to consider here, but it's a great display. And remember, you get those signs. So you can always call Vicki for questions. She's very attentive. And um, again, you're gonna do the same here, submit your product with um, a photo. So I can guarantee they need to see the photo on this. So lots of great things. Now, one disclaimer here, we try to get every product in that's been accepted. Um, sometimes on site with the merchandising, they just can't fit it all in. So there always is that possibility um, that it won't make it into the display, but it's very minimal when that happens. And again, this is a free service. There's your little free badge. So uh, highly recommend you try and get in with this. Um, Nancy, we had a question. Someone had contacted Pantone about the pallets a couple of weeks ago and hadn't heard back. Uh, they were still trying to decide with what the pallets and finalize them, but that is finished now. So please contact Joyce at um, Pantone. Also this year, there will be a palette with the color of the year for 2022 that they just announced last week. So that'll be an additional option for you to um, submit products in the Pantone color of the year. The color is very peri, which I think is kind of like a periwinkle blue. <laughs> there you go, friends. Those of you out there with the name <laughs> Perry, it was special just for you. Okay, Celebration of Coffee. This is a pay to play. Um, again, you can look at the PDF about what we're looking for. This is located in the Lakeside Center. Um, lots, obviously coffee is still a huge trend. Um, we partner with the Specialty Coffee Association and we display their certified brewers in the, this, in the, uh, it's basically a booth in the Lakeside Center where we offer tastings usually, not sure how that's gonna work this year with COVID, but definitely education, counterculture of Chicago is always there. Um, so it's, and there's a display in this booth that gets pretty heavy traffic. Um, so if you've got an espresso set and you'd like to get that on display, that's where you'd wanna put it. Anything coffee related, it's really a great display. Um, Get started again, this is a pay to play. You'll see it's the same price, members for 325, non-members for 425. Um, you can always drop product off on site. I think that's actually Lindsay Pearson who runs Discover Design also runs Celebration of Coffee. So you can either send it to her ahead of time, but most people I believe bring it on site. And you can go ahead and look at that at your leisure and sign up now. It's going to take me to that USA sign in. And then I always have trouble getting back. So I'm not going to do that. But if you have questions, let me know. Geo product design. So this is, um, again, about the Global Innovation Awards. I'll tell you, it's um, 
a pretty prestigious program. We see these awards all over the world when we're at other trade shows. People proudly bring this big hunk of beautiful crystal with them <laughs> wherever they go. Um, and it's just a, it's a badge of honor to receive it. We've got professionals who judge the product on all sorts of criteria. And you can go ahead, I'm gonna start with the brochure. The brochure is pretty comprehensive in terms of what the program is, new product showcase. Remember that's your entry point, January 21 is the cutoff date. And it'll go into um, how, the, how the awards work. We pick finalists, we announce, sorry, global honorees or winners at a big gala at the Radisson Blue Hotel on Saturday, March 5th at show open and everything gets promoted on site at the show. It's a really great program. I would encourage you all, if you're gonna do new product showcase to really try and get your products in for judging. Here's all the criteria. Um, and here are, there's 14 different categories we judge in. So here they are listed for you. You can also find all of this information. Hold on, Robert, it's gonna take me back to new product showcase there. Um, this will take me to the actual web page um, in, at the inspiredhomeshow.com. And it'll give you just more of the same information. So if I hit this, it's gonna take me to that PDF again. If I hit this, it's gonna take me back to the new product showcase web page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the back button and get back to where we were. Okay, new center, Debbie, this is new, tell us. Yeah, um, as many of you know, we in the new center, we have a product room in which we request new products to show to the media um, that we think either fit in a trend or are very interesting, are new or different. And so we, um, we will usually contact the exhibitors and ask you based on um, some submissions, new product submissions that I'll cover in little bit, um, the press event products that we have that are shown there. But this year, we're asking you um, to submit your products to us to um, complete this form below, and then we'll review the form. Um, we ask for a product description and a photo, and then some other information when the product is available for sale, where it's sold, the MSRP, why the product is unique, um, how does it differ from other products on the market. And that is information for my PR team so that they can, if the media asks, we have it. And so we'll review these submissions. And then if we would like a sample of your product, we will contact you and ask you to send it to us at the IHA office and we'll take it down to the show. Um, if you would like to come to the new center, which I'll talk about in a little bit later, um, I'm happy to show you the product room. We do not allow the media in there unescorted. Um, as you know, we. You know, we have several hundred products in there and, you know, sometimes for security purposes, um, we like to have somebody in there with them because we don't want your products to walk away. So, and submit them through this form. If you have any questions, please contact me. Deb, what if you only have a prototype? Um, we would prefer to have working products or products that are in, you know, full production form. Um, I. I know you, you spend a lot of money on your prototypes and I don't want to be responsible if something happens to them or if they break or something, if somebody picks it up and they're in fragile states. So I would prefer no prototypes, um, just full function products. Thanks, okay, trending today. So we, this is our fourth year doing um, pre-show, both a trending today and a new exhibitor preview. Um, both of these are vetted. So again, you'll want to put in a submission and then if it meets our trend, um, healthy at home this year, um, then we'll select you. We've got room for about 60 companies. We put them in alpha order. Um, definitely, if you're interested in this, go ahead and get your form in right away. It's all the same stuff you're looking at, description, um, images, et cetera. So just tell us why it meets the healthy at home mission, which you can read about up here. Of course, it's in reaction to the pandemic um, that we just can't seem to get leave. We just can't seem to get away from it. 
Oh, we've got a question. How new is the product considered a new product? Yeah. So um, that I'll just follow the new product showcase guidelines, which would be it's been in distribution for 12 months or less. Um, and that I would just kind of follow that guideline. We don't want like bestsellers that have been on the market for a long time. For trending today, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be new for trending today. Um, it just needs to kind of meet the mission here. Um, and we're really looking for some sustainable stuff. Of course, home environment would be a big one. Um, so it's a little open, but you know, it's really in reaction to healthy living um, in a pandemic. Even though we're, we shouldn't be in a pandemic anymore, but we are. Okay, so who attends this? So traditionally, the show is large. If you haven't been to it, with three big expo halls, um, people want to get started right away so they can get through the show. So the show opens at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. This event takes place at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And people come because they want to be there when we roll back those gates. They want to get started right away. So traditionally, we get about 700 media and um, buyers at this event. It's just a great opportunity. It's kind of a meet and greet at a tabletop trade show and then gives them information to go back and visit you at your booth. So um, it's a great event. I, I highly encourage you to get your submissions in if this is something you want to do. It is a free event and we also serve a continental breakfast um, for the attendees. So this is kind of the invite. It'll really just kind of mimic what's already on the um, website here. And you can always talk to your um, show manager if you've got more information or you're interested to participate. We've got our RSVP by January 14th to get your submissions in so we can vet and select. Okay, you're almost done listening to me. Okay, Smart Home Pavilion. So this is on here um, because this is a growing category, one we're fostering. And what we're kind of finding is you may have a product line of 100 products and maybe only one or two is smart. If there is a double exposure opportunity here with a turnkey package, our Smart Home Pavilion is located in the Hall of Global Innovation right outside the Lakeside Center Hall. Um, it's a kiosk um, type booth. Um, it's very reasonably priced. So if this is something you're interested in, I'll leave you to go look at the information or you can either call me or Alyssa Fulton who runs this program and we can kind of talk you through the logistics. But here we'll show you um, the cost and kind of who visits it. And this is what it looks like. Here's a great example from 2019. You got a graphic and it's just kind of a, it's very visible area. So there's your price, 2250. So if you've got smart home products and you wanna call them out, this is where you wanna do it. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here to my return to the EMK. And I'm going to jump down. No, I'm not going to jump because sponsorship placements. Again, this is a new um, thing for IHA and a great, lots of different opportunities, lots of different price points. Um, so, what you're going to do here, there's a big PDF. It's not embedded in the web page. So, you're going to have to go through the opportunities here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see, you know, some stuff is 5,000, some, it depends on what you're looking to do, but there are things in here where you can be in an email or in a homepage news banner, um, or if you want to do a speaking thing in the innovation theater, you can sponsor, um, you know, a talk in there, even if it's you giving the talk, it just cannot be a sales pitch. And then we've got stuff like other shows do, badge lanyards, um, all sorts of things. So I urge you, if you wanna get your name out there to look through here and see what works for you. And then again, because it's a paid, you can also look at cooking theater um, opportunities as well. 
So if you want to be a sponsor, you're going to get started and guess where it's going to take you because it's a paid opportunity. It's going to take you to your USA sign-in. And when you get to your USI sign-in, you're going to see it's going to say recurring sponsorships and one-time sponsorships. So if you're looking to do banner ads and that kind of thing, you're going to want to go into recurring. So let's say you've gone through the menu, you want us to do something, you go to sign into USI and you go to the right um, task and you're, you can't find it. You're like, well, I really wanted to do those lanyards and now I can't find them. What that means is it's sold out, it's been removed from the inventory. Um, and there definitely are people interested in this. So I would say if there's something you wanna do regarding sponsorship and your budget allows, I'd start looking at that right away. Brand new for IHA, it's very exciting. Okay, I'm gonna turn this webinar over to Deb, who's gonna talk about all the media services and what you need to do to attract them. Great, thank you, Nancy. Um, our first service is the media registration list. And as Nancy said, with the buyer list, um, we aren't pre-posting the 2020 um, media registration list. We will have the pre-registration list for this year posted on the website in about mid-February, mid to late February. So we encourage you to come and download that and use it to create your pitching list for the media. And so it'll be here, it, it'll be through your exhibitor portal um, where you'll log in and download it. Next is the show preview press event. And this is our kickstart for your public relations efforts to the media. It will be held next month in New York City. We are expecting about 60 to 65 media to attend. We did an event back in June when we were still at the height of COVID. New York had just dropped their mask mandate and we had about 35 um, media come to that event. We had 37 tables. It was, we considered it a success. Everybody was happy to see new products in person. So we're anticipating a large crowd next month as well. Um, as I mentioned, we've extended the deadline to um, January 4th. That will be the final extension. Um, so sign up as soon as you can. As, and as Nancy said, we've, we've done our membership. So we have a price for a member and exhibitor and a non-member and ex exhibitor. You can show up to four products. It's a tabletop exhibition, so you don't need any type of booth setup. Um, and we do a product catalog that we give to the media and send to those who can't attend as well. If you have any questions, please email me. As I mentioned, the um, invites will be going out soon and I'd like to include your um, brand and your company in that invite. The Show News Center is the headquarters for the media attending the show. And this is where they come to pick up their badge. Um, as we'll discuss we'll, in a few minutes, um, we are not pre-mailing the badges. We haven't pre-mailed the media badges for a while. And they come to the new center to pick them up. And then we also offer other amenities and services for them, including um, a continental breakfast, box lunch, snacks in the afternoon. I have a uh, room where they can sit and work. And we, have, we put out the press kits. For them, we have a slat wall. We put them out alphabetically by company within um, a, in these plastic bins, so they're easily seen. I encourage you to put, you know, a picture on the cover, your company name, because those with visuals will get picked up by the media. We also provide them with um, boxes, and we will ship them home to their um, offices after the show free of charge. So this is all the information about the new center. Here's the address for you to ship your press kits um, to the new center at the show. It's a free service. We don't charge you to do that. Um, and then these are the deadlines when we would like them. And then this is um, new product listings, the in-booth appearances, and um, just kind of, we have some PDFs for you, um, a press release if you template, if you'd like to write a press release and you've never done that. So this is, um, as I said, the headquarters for the media, we will be there beginning the Wednesday before the show setting up. So when you come to set up your booth, if you'd like to come and um, see the new center, please come up to room S401 on level four of the South building. And I'd be happy to give you a tour and also show you our new product uh, room as well. Um, 
moving forward, um, new product listings. We used to have a service in the marketing kit called New Products for Buyers and News Media. This is the same service. It's just we've kind of retitled it to New Product Listings because they will go in the Connect 365 website. And so this is how you can um, show your new products. There'll be a search function in Connect 365 um, for buyers and media to look up products. You, um, you'll submit them, you'll put them under a product category and, um, and then they'll be able to search by those categories. And so this kind of explains how, what we do with the information. Um, another reason to fill out these new product listings is my PR team will be reviewing the entries um, to find products that we wanna show the media. They will start working with the media next month and the media will be asking about new products. And so this is one way that we can tell them about what will be at the show. So I encourage you to start submitting these as soon as you can. Um, you'll go here, this will take you to um, the exhibitor portal, and then you'll go from there to enter your listings. And be sure to include a photo. Um, listings with photos are, you know, the media like to see what the photo looks like or what the product looks like. Then um, we also work with the trade publications, not just the consumer media. And it's really important to pay attention to the trade publications because this is where the buyers see your new products and learn about your company and your new product offerings for the show. So we offer you a couple of ways here. Um, there's a listing of the domestic editorial contacts. I encourage you to look at this list and create your pitching list. Now, not all of these publications may come to the show or may be um, pertinent to your product because they are um, by channel, um, by retail channel. So if there are some retail channels that you don't sell to, um, you, know, you may not want to um, interact with them. Or maybe this is a great way to get into those books and get into those channels and let them know um, that you're around. So this is a listing of all the editors and their emails. So you can create your pitch list from here. Next, we have um, new product information opportunities. And this is a free service. It's a free editorial service um, with the trade publications. And here we list both the domestic and the international publications. And the international ones are organized alphabetically by country. So if you click on A and you see CASA, UFASA is the first one because it's in Argentina. But each listing will give you a contact at the, at the magazine, the deadline for the submission, and then the specifications for submitting your new product information. And they will do special show issues, they'll run special listings, and the, re, and the buyers read these, and that's how they find their new products. And maybe they'll come visit you at the show as well. Okay, moving forward. Um, then we have press kit resources. And this year we have an exciting new resource that I'm very happy to announce. We are going to have an online show press room for our exhibitors, and this is free. In the past, we would partner with virtual press office and they would charge to, for you to post your press kits online. We are doing it for free for you. They will be posted on a webpage on the inspiredhomeshow.com website and the media can go there and look them up. So this is the form that you would use to submit your press kit. We ask for the media contact information, um, your booth number, then product category, you would select how, you know, where it would be listed or how it would be searched for. Um, you can submit up to four files for um, press releases and then up to four photo, high-res photos. Branding assets would be if you wanted to include your logo or you know, if you have several brands and you want to include the logos for them, you could do that here. And then you hit submit and it goes, it would be submitted up to the website. We are still working on the search page for that, but that will be available very soon. But I would encourage you to start um, entering your press kit information and then we will be marketing that to the news media um, when we, in terms of our registration and talking with them. Um, so that's one. Then we have the press release distribution with uh, PR Newswire. And we've offered this service for several years. They offer our exhibitors a discount. 
if you would like to put your release on the wire, either nationally or locally in Chicago, or maybe locally in your area. Um, so please contact PR Newswire and they will give you the information on that and the pricing. And again, this is, you have to pay for this, but they are offering discounts to our exhibitors. Um, then you say, Deb, I want to po post a press kit, but I, I don't know how to write a press release. I don't have a PR person. I don't work with an agency. So we're offering this service again called My Press Release Writer. And it's an easy way. It's a third party service that will write your press release for you. You simply um, enter some information online on their website. And within 48 hours, you will get a well written press release about your new product. And that is yours to keep. You can post it on your website, post it in your 365 listing, use it as part of your online press kit, print it on your show letterhead, and use it in a printed press kit. However, you wish to um, use it is you know that's up to you. But it's $119 per press release, um, which is a pretty good value. Um, so you can you know get a few press releases for maybe a couple of hundred dollars and have your information. And that is it for the news media, um, Nancy. Okay, we're coming to an end here. Um, I wanna, really wanna get to some of our housekeeping notes. Um, this is just more of the same on the Global Innovation Awards. I'll let you look at that um, at your leisure. Again, there's that new product showcase entry point in order to be eligible for a Global Innovation Award. Um, Booth design, this is up here um, more for people who don't um, you know, know what to do with booth. There's a big white paper in there on lighting and all sorts of things that you might wanna consider for your booth. I'll let you guys explore that on your own. I will point out there is a link here to the exhibitor services kit as well. And if you're looking at that, oh my God, I forgot I have to order blah, blah, blah. So you can get to it easily. And then we also um, list our a few booth builders that we've worked with that are approved um, for your, if you need to hire someone. If you do, please go get three bids, always get three bids. The prices vary and it's usually a pretty big investment. So just make sure you do your due diligence on that. Okay, we've talked a lot about Connect 365 um, and this is where it's at. Um, so everything you put into Connect 365 will transfer to our mobile app, which will be our on-site directory this year. Um, we are not doing a printed directory. So it's really, it's really critical that you get your, your um, information and brands and products and pictures and everything that you would want somebody to know about your company. Um, there are tutorials on how to do this. Um, they're pretty intuitive. I would definitely recommend that you, here, you can just get to it from scrolling down here. There's two different tutorials on getting your profile set up. You're gonna start hearing from your sales manager about this if you haven't already, because it is so important. And this is the tool we know the buyers use. And this is the tool we market to the attendees so that they can um, find you on the show floor and understand what they're going to look at. Um, one thing to note, this is um, open to your competitors. So if you have intellectual property, I would probably hold off on posting that closer to the show, but this is 24 seven, 365 days a year. You can always go in and post that stuff as needed. Um, so that's a really big one. If you've got questions on that, please see your sales manager. Huh, they love when I do that. Um, and that's pretty much where we are with the marketing kit. I'm sorry if the scrolling is making me a little insane. Again, reference your deadlines. So I'm gonna get us back to our PowerPoint because I wanna talk about these exhibitor warnings. Um, oops, I'm moving here. So. There's one called the FAIR guide or Expo guide that say, um, you know, we're gonna publish all your information and a million plus people are gonna see it and it's only $3,000. So 
really, they used to mail letters. I'm not quite sure what their outreach is these days. Just know it's out there. We don't recommend you go for that. We don't share your information. Everyone's always getting on us that they're published somewhere or whatever. We do not share your information. It is private to our organization. Um, so again, here's another one about buyer and media lists. I'm sure in your tenure, you've experienced somebody trying to sell you one of these lists. Don't, don't buy into it. it they're, they're, I don't know where they, what they scrubbed to get the data. Again, very expensive. I would not recommend it. Um, the one that's not on here, there's two others. There's a hotel warning. Um, on Peak is our um, official housing provider. We've really negotiated great rates for 22. Um, so, and there's benefits to that. It, unless you're staying near the McCormick Place campus, it's a seven day cancel policy. If you're staying over towards the city center, Michigan Avenue, most of those hotels you can cancel within 24 hours. So um, again, just beware of those poachers for um, housing. And then another one is just to verify when you're getting an email that might look like it's from us, but it's not. We definitely have had hackers try and um, get you to redirect your booth payments, et cetera, to their bank accounts. And when that happens, it, there's just no recourse. So wanna make you aware of them. I pointed out earlier on the navigation where you can go find all the exhibitor warnings, get yourself educated on them so that you don't make costly mistakes. This is just kind of a, a, a bit on Connect 365 and everything it does. Um, so get in there and play around with that. Um, here's some stuff, just good rules to follow in terms of what you're uploading. Um, particularly videos need to be a YouTube video. It won't take other links. That's actually not even on here. But, you know, JPEG or GIF files, you know, just kind of standard things, but want you to be aware of what that is. And then this just kind of gives you media badge. Media wears a blue badge. Um, and you're going to see news media, bloggers, influencers, which there will be a lot of this year because we're partnered with an influencer event. Um, and it's free. I know Deb wants to speak to this. That we, um, we break the news media up into four different types of media. There's news media, which is the, your print broadcast and trade media. Internet media, which is anyone that it's a news website or an internet-based publication. Then we have bloggers, and those are people with 10,000 to 50,000 followers and subscribers. And a lot of them are mommy bloggers, foodie bloggers, lifestyle. And then we have the social media influencers who have over 50,000 followers and subscribers. And these are like your YouTube influencers. So this is who we consider media. It will say um, that internet or blogger or social media influencer on the bottom of their badge. We do have a trade desk classification for the people that are the sales component of um, news media, whether it's trade or consumer media. And they will say uh, trade media, sales and marketing, or consumer media, sales and marketing. And we consider them trade desks, not um, news media. So you'll see that bottom line. We are big on free publicity. That's what we do. Um, we're good at it. If someone's wearing a badge and asks you to pay for coverage, please let Debbie know up in the press center. Again, on um, peak official show provider, um, badges now are individual. You pick up your badge with the IT. Um, we're not mailing those any longer. And then we do have this power hour at the end of the day. We keep the lights on and things going until 6.30. 5.30 is the official end, but we do encourage you to set up meetings during this hour. You won't get kicked out. And that concludes our first run of a live webinar on the marketing kit. I hope you found it worth your time and learned a lot. Um, please feel free to give us a call if you've got questions. Your sales managers can also help answer questions, but we're here to assist you and we are looking forward to a very very successful show. 
So thank you very much. And um, we look forward to seeing you in just a few months. It's coming quickly. Thank you. Thank you.